we've got here is a 3S, that's 3 cell, lipo pack, 2200 milliamp hour. It's a Turnigy Nanotech 60C discharge rate, so it's a pretty beefy battery, but it's got one bad cell. So I've cut the weeds off, exposed the uh, conductor, and I've got a piece of aluminum here. And I'm just kind of curious what will happen if we uh, create a dead short by laying it right on top of uh, the aluminum. Uh, this could be one of those things where you say, don't try this at home. But I imagine most of my viewers are smarter than I am. Let's see what happens. Oh yeah, it's puffing. Oh yeah, I'm going to back up. Just a touch. Oh man, when it blew, it uh, <laughs> it jumped. Damn it. That's a bummer. I didn't expect that. Alright, we're going to have to try again. <laughs> That's how smart I am. If once you don't succeed in blowing yourself up, well, try, try again, as they say. Here we go again. Okay. Just going to give it a little help. Oh, yeah, we got a lipo fire going on now, guys. got to love a lipo fire. I thought I was going to have to chop it up with a machete, but all I really needed to do is just push it down with my foot a little bit and get the heck away. It's a pretty fierce looking fire. Yeah, it's glowing inside. I'm thinking that once it gets going, it's pretty much self-sustaining. It's just going to keep going. Lovely day for a lipo fire. Seems like every time I try to mess with a lipo battery, like when I chopped the last one with a shovel or whatever, it'll do a little fit and then just sit there. And I'm like, oh well. And then, the minute I turn the camera off, then it goes off. <laughs> that thing looks pretty toasty, doesn't it? Wow. Look at the ash. Ash action there. Guess that's it. There's a lot left to it. It's kind of just simmering at this point. Hmm. It's not nearly as impressive as I was hoping. I wanted a fireball. I wanted something extremely dangerous to occur. But, uh, it's got a little poof and then a little bit of fire. Oh, the fire's kicking up now. It's got some more going. Yeah, these things are definitely incendiary devices, you know. You bridge them and uh, you've got an instant source of ignition. Any uh, suspicious fires involving RCs, <laughs> that's what you need to call it. It's probably why people like to use nickel metal hydride for their kids, you know. A lot of people are a little iffy about using light bulbs around children. And I can see why. Pretty fierce. Yeah, it's still cooking. I'm wondering if I can get it to do anything more exciting. I push the conductor into it. Yeah, it looked like it kind of lost the track of the conductor there. So I kind of pushed my foot up on it. There we go. Like I said, you just kind of got to help these lipos out. They just don't like to do it on their own for some reason. Now we've got what I was looking This is what I was expecting. Something more like a giant fireball with fierce orange flames coming out of it. There we go. That's more like it. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, see, once I, once I get the, con the conductors, once I get the conductors touching again, it really goes off. I'm not sure if I really want to get that close to it. <laughs> That's insane, isn't it? Can you imagine getting splattered with burning lithium poly battery? That would probably be bad. You'd have a hard time explaining that at the emergency room. Yeah, yeah, well, I was making a YouTube video, and it wasn't burning hot enough, so I pushed it around with my foot until it 
did something exciting and then it blew up on me. Really? No kidding. See, you can kind of see how these batteries are constructed when they blow up like this. It's a whole bunch of little leaves of some kind of mylar material or something in there. Probably saturated with some crap and some kind of a medium. And then in a little foil pack. I would say that that's, that puffed up pretty good. Still got one cell over here that isn't completely destroyed, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do much about it. That's the one that went poop right away this time. I'm not sure, but I think I think the show is over, guys. <laughs> I think we did it. All right. Thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting Mountain Storm and my ridiculous antics. I'm going to be uh, playing around with the shotgun later this afternoon, so uh, stay tuned.